Seth from Cyprus has a question about AC drainage. Yeah, he wonders if he has a clogged time. He wrote a very long narrative. I've kind of boiled it mm -hmm. down to the essential here. You do a good job with that, by the Thank way. You. I read the long ones. <laughs> yeah, Seth writes. Yeah, we got the, Seth's letter is like about this long. And by the time he gets on the prompter, it's about this long. Yes. Anyway, he says, lately, he says, our upstairs unit hasn't been cooling like it used to. And his daughter told him at the upstairs bathroom sink where the AC drains <laughs> yes. wouldn't drain. What? What are you laughing? At? I lived through this with my kids upstairs. Okay. They said, "Dad, is the sink supposed to overflow onto the floor?" Right. Why? <laughs> I like that. God, no, this is. is a true story. Oh, and then no. I said, "I said, what do you mean?" He goes, "Come up here." And for two or three or four or, or ten days, I don't know. They just let it build and never told me. And it's not like I'm going to go up and check their sink. I was sitting downstairs watching TV one night in the old days when I was a <laughs> yes. single dad. And uh, one of my daughters came down and says, Dad, do you have any more towels down here? <laughs> exactly. Uh, why? Because we've run out of towels upstairs. What do you mean? <laughs> well, we've mopped up as much water as we can. <laughs> so, And with us, the riser had backed up. Well, and it was causing the water to... It's just... Right. Can't the kids tell us before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get back. Meanwhile, yes, his daughter's sink is clogged up, right? Mm -hmm. And it yes. wouldn't drain. So what does he do? He gets out his uh, P trap, gets the P trap out, cleans it, and that drains it for about thirty seconds. But then it backs up again. So he gets out his uh, his snake goes down about eighteen feet, and it'll drain for a while. But then it backs up again. And he figures he'll have to get Abba's kiss out to fix yes. the drain. He, that's a given. He's like he's already calling them. But Seth wonders, Tom, if the drain clog could be connected to the AC performance. No, not to the performance of the okay. AC. But I will tell you this, and in my case, the same going back to that same story, yeah. I had to have Charles from Abacus Plumbing come out. Yeah. He had to find three different places to find a way to snake this thing. Really? And it was way down the line. And this is the funny thing. After my children grew up and left... You stopped having the problem? I stopped having the problem. <laughs> right, here. right here. Right here. Don't leave me hanging. Same thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you have to call Abacus, I don't know where you're... You have a clog, but it will not... Uh, hurt the performance of the AC. Right, but so what is causing the AC not to perform as well upstairs then? I don't know. This is when we get back to that checkup. We have really hot weather now. Mm -hmm. We've had two years of super humidity out there. Uh, is he getting the proper drop across the coil? Uh, does he have the proper... I, I'm finding out, and I'm thinking this right now, people are so... Uh, uh, it, it's catching up with them since Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. That the airflow in their air conditioning systems are so poor, they never really noticed it except for mm -hmm. these two wet mm -hmm. years, and now they're starting to go, wow. And so it takes a while for something like that to break an air conditioning system, and I think that that's probably – and that's why It uh, could be Rick, simple as airflow. Yeah, that's why Rick is – we're always pushing – we do videos with him, we talk to mm -hmm. him. He says static air pressure, static air pressure, right? Right. Uh, other companies don't check for that, and I really think that's a big problem. And that's why they – he just came back from having a seminar, I think it was in Las Vegas – which stays there. Of course you go there. <laughs> yes. But he's doing training seminars with all the people mm -hmm. that work there about airflow because it is such a problem. Well, you're right there in Cyprus. That's so just call Abbotsford <laughs> Comfort. They'll come right over to you. Yeah, sure. And so have them take a look. I think that the other thing, Tom, I wonder, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of hot out. And yes, it we, is. we tend to, this may surprise you, that we get a lot of air conditioning questions when it gets hot. Oh, July and August. You okay. know what my biggest question next week is going to be? Not only why does my air conditioner run all the time yeah. and it's not it's right. not cooling, but my garage is so hot, I don't understand. Right. Can't I just put a fan in there and cool yeah, it right. off? <laughs> yeah, that fan will push that warm air and, around. And I'm fine with so, that. It's a hot area. So back to Seth, though. Yeah. One of the challenges that happens this time of year, and you talk about airflow, mm -hmm. is that I've learned over the years with you, is that people finally discover that they don't have enough tonnage upstairs. Yes. Because you got that upstairs hot radiant much heat better. coming yeah, down. Yeah, and tough. upstairs, you run into this problem. And so it could be a combination of maybe that's the challenge with the system is just not properly sized for upstairs. Well, or the ductwork isn't balanced. We're yeah. back to airflow okay. again, too. There it too. is. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, it's just the way it is. But it's not so simple that I can just sit here and say, oh, yes. I'll replace part A you and go. you're fine. There you go. Here, put one of these in it. You'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. No, yeah, no it's you not can't do it. that. Yeah, take one of these. Call me in the morning. But that's why you deal with really good people that come out. I have an air conditioner in my garage that's not working now. Mm -hmm. I have to call Abacus. Mm -hmm. uh, not Abacus. I have to call uh, Absolute. 
and they're going to come out and fix it, right? There you go. If I had my plumbing was backing up, then I would call uh, Abacus for right. sure. Exactly. 713 Plumbing. Yes. And remember, plumbing has a B in it. <laughs> I had a whole conversation the other day with my barber who called Abacus. I mean, yeah, Abacus wrong Plumbing, number. right? He said, well, I keep calling it P-L-U-M-I-N-G. It's got a B in it. <laughs> People say things that like that to me. You know what I say to them? I don't want to know what else they didn't teach you in school. Well, Perry Plumbing and the guy in, on, on the show this weekend right. called up and said, well, it gave me the whole uh, background about plumbing with a B. It's something to do with Latin. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, I wasn't really listening after he said Latin. But <laughs> it right. I want to call that caller and tell him I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you got a question? Let's get this gun. Go okay. ahead and send, <laughs> us, uh, send us some more questions. We'll bat them around like this and help yeah. you out. Um, visit homeshowradio.com. It's our website. And up the right-hand corner, you'll see it says Ask Tom. Click on that. Fill it out. We'll post your answer just like these videos. Subscribe to our channel. Click the bell. And we'll Ding. ring yours when we post a new one.